Wie packen Autos wir da hin? Ja, der hat doch ja, Material. Das nehme ich weg. A dockside dispute. These two men work with cargo in the port of Hamburg. And right now, they're not seeing eye to eye. Frank Fritsch is in charge of loading freight onto the ship, the Pacific Winter. But there are heavy hatch covers in the way. They'll have to be moved, but they weigh tons. And where can they go? The cargo is a generator destined for Egypt. It was brought here in a small supply ship and now it has to be lifted onto the freighter. It's more difficult to load from the water than from the dockside. Maneuvering the four big steel reinforced cables into the right position requires a lot of muscle power. Okay, I ready, it's ready. The 400 tons of cargo is raised inch by inch. It takes as long as it has to. Safety is the top priority. On no account should the generator swing about while it's being loaded. Henning Witter and his team are in charge of making sure the generator is securely stowed once it's on the ship. The ship isn't that wide. We have to get the balance right, so it's not leaning too much to the left or the right. We have to center it properly. Back on the dockside. This is Frank Fritsch's domain. He's been working here for 35 years. The freight that he and his men load used to be more manageable. Sacks of coffee and small crates of cargo. These days, they deal with much bulkier loads. The loading gear alone weighs hundreds of kilos. We've got a warehouse full of loading gear. I have to know exactly what I need for a particular weight and its breaking point. It has to hold. That's our job. These days, dock workers rarely handle freight directly. Deputy Harbour Master Andreas Brummermann explains that everything now arrives in containers and freight handling is remote controlled. The standard sized steel containers are the reason why the port is so busy, but also why it's so deserted. One consequence of today's cargo handling is that far fewer people are involved in the loading process. Hardly anyone still works in the terminals. In Altenwerde, for example, there's hardly anyone in the terminal facility apart from the crane operators. That's not the case in the general cargo terminal. Items like the generator bound for Egypt don't fit in containers and are loaded individually. In the ship's hull, Steel stoppers are about to be welded into place. They'll secure the generator during the journey. It's got to be firmly fixed in the cargo area, so it doesn't end up flying through the hatch when the sea's up. That could capsize the ship. And it's been known to happen. The more focused and experienced the cargo handlers are, the better. Cranes do a lot of the work, but the final touches are done manually. It's better than it was 25 years ago. Things have improved. The loading gear is still very heavy. It has to be when you're dealing with cargo like this, but it's fine. We used to think 25 tons was heavy. This is 400 tons. Loading supervisor Frank Fritsch doesn't have to deal with a 400-ton cargo every day. But even lighter freight can be challenging. It can be unwieldy and swing around in windy weather. Loading must never become routine. Routine's dangerous. The main thing is that the team is properly organized and the crew's cooperating. Otherwise, nothing works. Loading general cargo is hard and specialized work. These dockers say that although they could earn more in the container terminal, it's much more interesting here.